Deadly two week span leaders in Chicago have laid out their plan for a safe holiday weekend. WGN's Kelly Davis joins us live from Millennium Park with the details on that. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Dina and Julie. The way we celebrate the 4th of July this year will be a lot different, but city leaders insist one thing remains the same. Safety is their top priority. We need everyone's help to make our strategy work. Chicago police deployed 1,200 more officers onto city streets Thursday. While that's typical for the holiday weekend, the mayor says this year is different. This has got to be an all hands on deck approach to community. Police will be using a so-called violence reduction dashboard, which they say will help with everything from preventing the next shooting to providing trauma informed victim services. For the first time ever, the city has committed millions of dollars to violence intervention and street outreach as part of its budget. It's about letting everyone in Chicago know that the city cares about them. We see you South Side, we see you West Side, we see you Inglewood. Stop killing us! Stop killing us! Community members across the city are also coming together calling for peace. We as black men have to do better for our black community. We have to stand up and lead and we have to protect our babies. We have to protect our women and kids. They held a rally outside St. Sabina Catholic Church ahead of the holiday weekend. They say they're tired of the violence and it's time to hit the hood. The new initiative will get people involved outside doing positive things in their neighborhoods this 4th of July weekend. Each of our communities, we are taking back our streets. There will be no more bloodshed. We are combating and curbing the violence best we can, but we cannot do this alone. The weekend violence is not off to a great start. There were several shootings overnight since 8.30 p.m. on Thursday. Two people have been killed and six others injured in gun violence. Reporting live from Millennium Park, I'm Kelly Davis, WGN News.